Okay, so now I'm starting work on the plate, and I basically want to cover almost the entire plate surface with this uh, light blue, gray, green color. So here we go. This is the same color I did the outline with. Being careful not to touch the orange, or else what's going to happen is it'll turn really nasty green. So I've got to be real careful with the thin color not to dig into anything else. I want to lighten this just a little for this other area. Now here, I'm going to go softer. Here, a little bit darker in the shadow. And then the rest of this in here basically gets as pure white as we can get. This is where the plate's reflecting the most light. And I did not clean the brush, so... The reason for not cleaning the brush is just to avoid having a totally pure white. I do want to leave some color in it. So here the white will pick up any of this other color, so I'm going to use a little bit thicker color right in here, just to try and avoid that, keeping the brush clean. So I'm going to grab this purple color, some white, some of that. That's just about what I'm looking for, I'd say. A little bit 
darker right here at the base. Here's my brow. So if I can get all a uniform color, then what I can do is I can add uh, darker and lighter areas. So for the lighter area, first I'm going to warm this up a bit. Well, actually, I darkened it because I added that color to it. So I'll work with it. Okay, so here's one wrinkle. Some more wrinkles. just to create some folds in the fabric for interest. Down in here, you just have darker color still for the shadow. here for my green. That's my mid color, the one that ties everything together. here in the shadow. about like that for I want to clean off as much of this uh, dirty color as I can okay and then I'll go over to my blue 